What's up YouTube? It's your girl Jada Jone and I am back with another video and as you already see by the title today I'm going to be doing a life update. Child, life has been life in ghetto. It's been all over the place. But I really, really just consider life itself a blessing. So I'm really just going with the flow of things and and letting it flow. But I'm going to cue y'all in on everything that's been going on because it's been a minute since I've done one of these. I think the last one I did was in January. So now it's time to get y'all updated because it is now August. And I can't even believe it's August. So if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Also turn on that bell post notification so you can be notified every time your girl posts a video. And if you're returning, welcome back because I have so much exciting stuff coming. But that's neither here nor there. I got some stuff in my notes that I wanted to cover in this video. So first things first. I know if y'all have been watching my videos, the past couple of videos I have been posting, which I know is very rare because I haven't been posting, but you would notice that I got my braces off. And so that is the elephant in the room. Um, a lot of y'all been asking like, girl, when you got your braces off, what? Y'all, I got my braces off in June after my birthday. I think it was like June 11th, 12th, somewhere up in there. But if y'all didn't know, I had braces for two years. Um, my 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 process or my treatment wasn't really anything major the main things they were trying to correct was my bite and then my bottom row had a lot of crowding and it's crazy because my teeth didn't start out that way it's like we, as i got older it started to shit talk, but you really couldn't even see it unless i was talking because it was literally my bottom row i ended up getting a consultation to a orthodontist that my dentist recommended and then, yeah, everything after that just followed through and I just ended up getting my braces. I had them for two years. Uh, a lot of y'all asked me how my process went. Did it hurt? Was it painful? Personally, my experience wasn't painful. The most painful thing that I experienced with braces, surprisingly, were spacers. I had to wear my spacers for like five days before I got braces and y'all, they literally hurt so bad moving your teeth. It, I, I didn't experience any pain as far as like getting my braces tight in. I didn't really get too many cuts like in my gums or nothing like that like nothing crazy I really didn't even have to use any of the um I think they give you wax I really didn't have to use none of that at all literally I pretty much after like the first like the first month of me having them I started eating anything that I ate before so it's like I it wasn't a big deal with braces personally like nothing too crazy um prior to getting my braces off I did get my wisdom teeth pulled uh, I kind of talked about this in one of my videos, but if you haven't been up to date, then you probably don't know, y'all. That was one of the worst experiences of my life. Like, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to get a breast reduction. Oh, I'm going to get lipo. Oh, if that is just the pain that you receive in your mouth and the, and the literally the recovery that came after it, I don't want to experience any other type of surgery anywhere else. Like, at this point, I'm just going to have to start going to the gym. I'm just gonna have to find natural ways to make my boobs smaller because I, I I don't like pain. I don't like blood, y'all. I just like the first day I had blood gushing out of my mouth. Yeah, that was I never again. I'm glad I got all four out in one round because but my braces are off. I'm gonna do a close up of my teeth. I love 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 the outcome so much. If you want to know what orthodontics I went to, I went to Power Orthodontics. It's in Evans, Georgia. They did a really good job. Everything was pretty quick. I didn't have like a prolonged time. Um, I think I had my braces on for about, for about four months longer, but that was because of me because I would not wear my rubber bands. And even now, my bite isn't really corrected, but that was my fault. Like I was going to be in braces forever if I, if I didn't wear my rubber bands. So it's just like... I was satisfied and I was like, everything cute, everything. It's giving veneers. I can't wait to get them like whitened. <sighs> it's just giving new smile. It's just giving grown. I love everything about it. So yeah, braces off. <laughs> All right, so moving on. So 
in the last couple of months i know i put this big post on my spam page or whatever about like how i've been kind of going through it mentally right now i am in a way way better place i think that was like at the end of june but i was just feeling symptoms of like depression severe severe anxiety i was going through a depressive episode from like i would say from like april till july so like anywhere in between there april may june july for like the past four months i was just going through it like i don't know if it was a mental battle a spiritual battle or what but i was literally going through it silently and it's like i can't even tell y'all what was wrong but something was wrong i didn't feel like myself i was just crying freaking out about every little thing and it's like i can't even i couldn't even control it it's like i don't know if it's stress or just overthinking or what but i literally it, it, it was crazy and i'm glad that i'm coming up out of that because i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel i'm trusting god and it's just like i'm ready for the next thing we're gonna talk about school okay and so whew, okay we almost done so as y'all know I started cosmetology school in September of 2022, a year program, 12 months accelerated, no breaks, no stops, straight through. But it is just stressful, y'all. And I feel like for the past couple of months, I just feel, feel so caged and boxed in. I'm not really able to be creative. I can't really move how I want to move because I have to get up at eight the next, the, in the morning. I have to get up eight in the morning and it's like, it's nothing wrong with that because that's stuff that people do every day people work jobs but the type of job that i work has to allow me to have a fluid schedule it has to allow me to be able to wake up and just live life you know and that's a blessing but it really has humbled me it, i would say it has humbled me able to manage it at first like y'all know when i started school I was dishing content out like it was nothing. I was doing hauls. I was doing vlogs. I was really, 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 really on top of it. And that was because that was the fun days. But as it started getting serious and I started going through different classes and just starting to, you know, not like it, you know, whether it be instructors, the environment or whatever, I literally got so depressed and angry. Like I just hated coming to school. So, um, yeah, it just... It kind of fell back on my YouTube and it's like I just stopped working all together and it's like I would work here and there um and you know if I had something exciting going on y'all know I try to do my birthday thing every year like I did vlogmas like I tried to make it work but on on the on the real it, it, it was really really hard I was forcing myself it, it wasn't fun it was more so I felt like I had to do it versus me being creative and me taking the time and having the time to truly think out ideas and do different things like yeah so it was stressful but I'm almost done I have pushed my graduation date back to October hopefully I'm praying to push it up to like early October because I was originally supposed to graduate in September, but you know, I missed a good bit of days because I been eating my self-care mental health days, like mental break days. I do not like going up in that building every day. I get bad vibes every time I go in there. So some days I be like, I'm not going. And I don't think nothing is wrong with that. So um, yeah, because of that, I have an extended graduation time, which is okay. It is what it is. It gave me more time to think about what I want to do, but yeah that's i'm almost done i'm gonna finish out strong i got what it's august september like i said i'm trying to graduate early october it's already might as well say mid-august it's literally i'm gonna blink my eyes and i'm gonna be graduating so i'm super excited i'm looking forward to doing like a graduation shoot and all of that i'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later about here but first i'm gonna talk to y'all about moving All right, so a lot of y'all have been asking and wondering because I've been hinting at it, but not really saying, but you know, you know. So I am moving again. And before the peanut gallery, bah, 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 I pride myself in living in my truth and getting all this stuff out the way while I'm young. And just living my life like I don't I like everything does have to make sense but then again it's like I'm only 22 
I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids. I don't got no dependents. I don't have nobody depending on me. Um, technically, I'm single. I don't have a man. I'm not married. Hey, this this is the time of your life to be exploring, to be thinking what you want to do, to just live it up, you know? And of course, you want to be building your foundation, but I have all my life for that, literally. Like, I'm not trying to be... Like, I had to get out of the mindset of trying to be living like I'm a 40 year old, you know, cause I'm not, I'm not, everything don't have to be perfect. This is like, this is the years that you're supposed to be, you know, figuring it out. So I have moved every year for the past three years. I know, I know y'all like, girl, we is tired. We is done. Look, y'all is not the one moving the furniture and I'm getting movers this time for real. <laughs> but no, for real, like I, have always been that person of like okay i'm gonna get into why i'm as a whole moving out of here but we're gonna start why a hey, boom when i moved in here i was like okay i'm gonna live here for at least two years because i have never stayed nobody nowhere over two years because every place i moved to always give me the ick or i just be ready to go and this place is Physically, everything that I could have asked for, literally checked all my boxes. I have a garage. Uh, the bedrooms are a nice size. Like, it's literally my own little bachelorette pad. Y'all know that the last two places that I lived, I lived with a significant other. This was my first place, you know, by myself. So, it was like, you know, like, okay. You know, out on my own for the first time, for real, for real. So... Physically, this is everything I could have wanted. If I could just copy this place and paste it somewhere else, I would. But it just don't work like that. So, anyways, my goal was to stay here for at least two years and really just be comfortable and settle in. But I am a firm believer in God makes everything happen for a reason. He's going to show you things and it's going to be up to you to take it and make it what he wants it to be basically because everything that's happening is already written my story is already written it's finalized it's just for me to carry it out so with that being said yeah i said i was gonna be here for two years i said that but that was not god's plan for me um and i'll get into a little bit of the little things that occurred while i lived here and it kind of put a bad taste in my mouth i'll start with why when i decided that i actually wanted to move because i was going to stick it out but I actually decided that I didn't want to move. So I'm like, April is when I started getting thoughts of wanting more for myself and wanting to branch out, venture out and seek, seek more, you know? And what I would say with school has taught me literally driving on the same road every day, going to the same place every day, seeing the same people every day. Like I said, this experience has taught me a lot you know and and I, i'm like over it you know and i just started getting thoughts of wanting to move to a bigger city to a place where i can be around like-minded people and then you know i want to be thrilled i want to be motivated i want to be challenged and i feel like here i am none of those things like at all literally like I, i'm comfortable and complacent and doing what i'm doing because it works i want to go somewhere and really 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 enjoy my life but also really work like i just want to forever be doing something and never falling in that oh i'm chilling you know and it's nothing wrong with being comfortable but i feel like for someone like me who has always been comfortable i'm gonna have to get uncomfortable to really really get comfortable if that makes sense and so around like i said april like march april i was like i don't know i want to move to atlanta and if y'all know me for real for real i always said like I would never move out of Augusta. This is home for me. I'm right up the street from my parents, my family. Like, everybody is here. I always know where I'm at. I'm comfortable. But like I said, the thoughts were just placed in my mind. This is something I never thought about, never imagined. If you know me, you got to know. Like, I never ever was, I never was even 
it, it never even crossed my mind. I was like, I would never move there. Like, it's just too much going on. It's overrated. Blah, blah, blah. All this different stuff, y'all. Just, just talking. And I started realizing, like, with little things that would occur, like, whether it happened with people or rumors or, like I said, even just going to school, like, some instructors had pissed me off and stuff like that. I just realized, like, I can be so much bigger than where I am. I want to go somewhere where... Not everybody doing the same thing, but it's not unusual. It's not unusual to be 22 and successful. It's not unusual for you to walk in the store and have a camera in your hand and vlog. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's easier. It's events for you to network. It's places for you to go specifically for content creation. Like I want more and for me to, for me to, you know, get that, I'm going to have to go. Like, I feel like my time is up. I'm forever living in the past. I'm always seeing people I went to school with and, you know, this and that. Like, and it's nothing wrong with that. Do not get me wrong. But for what I want, I need to get that experience because I don't know. And I also want to live in the city. I don't know. I've never lived in the city. Even when I went away to school at Clayton State, it wasn't really the city city. So, like, I feel like I want that experience. And I feel like it's no better time than now. Um, I'm nervous. I'm very, very nervous. I'm scared. But it's like, I, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna, this is something I'm going to have to do. And I'm excited to take y'all on this journey with me. And I'm happy that I'm able to even do this. So, your girl is going to be in the A. No, I'm just playing. No, but that is my goal. That is my main, main goal. I want to literally shoot that way once I graduate in October or September or whenever I graduate. So that is my goal. I have been looking at a couple of places. I know, like I said, y'all tired of me moving. Y'all like, girl, just uh, find somewhere and stick with it. Y'all like, girl, buy a house. Like, I'm not trying to settle down. I'm not trying to do none of that. Like, I just want to live my life. Like, I'm not doing nothing irresponsible for the most part. I just, I, I don't know. And I, I was very skeptical about telling y'all and just, I was just gonna pop up where I pop up. But I feel like, like I said before, everything that's for me is already written. No person, nothing can change what is gonna happen. Like it's already set in stone. So I don't care what I say. People like, oh, keep your plans to yourself. People going, you know, I don't care. I've never, I never really fell into that because what you gonna do about it? How you gonna stop me? Super excited about that. That's the one thing that's looking up for me. I feel like it's gonna be a clean slate. And y'all don't know how bad I want a clean slate. I want to get out and vlog for y'all, post for y'all and have, but I just need a better space. I need better energy. And like I said, to do that, like even my birthday weekend, even though I was kind of down, I could see myself living there. Y'all know I'm going to tell Lena for my birthday. I could see myself living there, being a resident. So that's my goal. I don't know about a moving series or whatever, but a lot of y'all did say y'all want to see that. So I guess we'll just have to see. But I'm really hoping and praying that everything works out of my favor and like at least happens I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say my timing, but happens in a good timing and God's timing. So that's one of the announcements that I want to make. I don't know where I'm gonna be or when, but that is a thing. So back to business. How this gonna go? Okay, so y'all know I didn't push my graduation date back or whatever. So originally I was supposed to be graduating in August or September, uh, where my lease is up august 12th august 11th actually so i kind of was placed in a dilemma because i wasn't expecting even when i started to think about you know graduating or whatever even when i started thinking about moving i didn't anticipate for my graduation date to be way in october i was still looking at september august i noticed that my <laughs> I noticed that my freaking uh, graduation day was pushed all the way back. I was like, dang, what am I going to do? So it was like, I either stay here for like a month or two or I move. So, okay, this was the plan. This was the plan. Okay. So originally the plan was because I was going to graduate in September. I was going to, when my lease was up, I was going to go ahead and get my place up there. Go ahead, put all my furniture up there. 
do that, whatever, okay, cool, and have my place. But when I thought about it, I was like, that don't make sense because why would I be paying rent for a place that I'm not even going to be at when I'm going to be down here going to school, finishing up school? So I was like, that's kind of ruled out because once my graduation date got pushed back, I was like, that's going to be like a month. I'm not going to be in my place and I'm not driving up there every weekend, you know? So I kind of ruled that out. Then secondly, I was like, okay, well, I can go month to month where I'm at now. That'll combat me from having to move twice because who wants to do that? Moving is such a headache. We got these steep stairs. Like, it would just be too much. So I started contemplating month to month. And then when I realized when they sent me my renewal for if I wanted to renew my lease or whatever, and month to month was $500 extra dollars. I was like, what? I'm going to be paying rent in this place. And it's like, that is not worth it. I don't even be home for real, you know? So I was like, I kind of got to weigh my options because my kid and I'm at school for eight hours and I'm doing hair after school. It's like, it just something, I had to make it make sense and it just didn't make sense to me, you know? And so once I realized that I would be coming out with on the short end of the stick, the only option that I had was to move my stuff out when my lease was up. So I'm moving my stuff out. I'm in the process of moving today and tomorrow and this week because it's August. It's August 5th. I got to be out here August 11th. So the only thing that I could do, which was literally the last resort, but I feel like this is going to be good because I'm going to be able to really just focus on school, focus on myself. I don't got to worry about keeping up the place and doing all this. Like I can just, I could basically be really like free, you know? And so, um, I sadly, and I really didn't want to do this, but it is what it is for, I'll say like August, half of August, September, and probably like the better half of October I'm not I'm looking to get my place like October 1st and I can go ahead and start moving up there but yeah so I'm gonna go back home for a little while for like a month and a half for the most part and I'm just gonna kick it there or whatever all my stuff is going in storage and yeah, I'm going to stay there while I finish up school. Because, again, it just didn't make sense to me to stay here and pay that. Because I would be here for two extra months. And that's like an extra $1,000. And that just was, mm, nah, y'all not getting it from me. And I'm going to tell y'all why I really, really, really want to move out of this place. But we're going to get to that on last. So, yeah, so I was like, my mom and my stepdad, they was like, that's cool, you know what I'm saying, for a couple of months. And like I said, if y'all saw my other vlog, y'all kind of saw where I kind of turned my mom's like office room into a salon like suite. So I've been in there doing hair or whatever, and I'm going to update y'all on that too because something sad happened and now I'm kind of upset about that, but God's plan. But yeah, so I'm going to be moving in there with them. I got my own little room or whatever, so... It's not going to be my old, old room because y'all know my mom and them moved. So I thought it would be fun and like a full circle moment to go back to my old room. But this is actually like they guest room, which is like, oh, that's why I'm like, I'm not trying to get too comfortable because I'm, I, I want to be out of there, you know? So I'm excited about that. Um, and like I said, while I'm there, I want to spend a lot of time with my siblings, really, really solidify our relationship because once i move i'm praying that that is my last move i hope that's where i call home and like even if i'm not staying in the same place per se i hope that that's where i find my new life that's where i find Finding love in Atlanta is crazy. <laughs> but I'm not going to say find love, but that's where I maybe eventually will settle down, have children. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of moving around. You know, eventually I may do find myself back in Augusta or surrounding areas, more like Evans or Grove Town. For right now, this is, I think, the best for me, for my career. And it's going to help me break me out of this shell that I'm in because I'm in such a hard, thick shell. And I feel like it's time. So. I'm going back to the crib or whatever. Ah. Yeah. So now.
on my apartment. Oh, okay, y'all probably like, but why you don't like the apartment, or whatever? Cause y'all know I've been talking a lot. First things first. I just, I, I, I don't, I, I'm not feeling the vibes. Like, I, I don't feel comfortable at home. I don't feel welcome. Like, it just, it, it get, it really gave bad energy, like, kind of from, like, day one. But I just stuck it out, like I said. And, like I said before, God do stuff for a reason. God do stuff for a reason. And so, originally, I didn't even get approved until I sent my tax payments or whatever so they wanted to see my tax records or whatever and so i should have took that as a sign then y'all remember the same thing kind of happened last year and i was like i don't know where i'm gonna go and then i you know sent in more information or whatever that they wanted to see for whatever reason and then they were like oh you're approved and so it just so happened that somebody's house got broken into that lived in my old neighborhood and I was like, oh, hell no, I'm ready to go. So I kind of emailed this apartment and I told them, like, can I move earlier? I moved in earlier last year than anticipated. So I ended up just skating out that place and getting into this place like this. So whatever. I kind of let that go past because I was like, okay, they needed more documents or whatever. So maybe that's just like a security thing. I don't know. So boom. That was the first little red flag because my grandma was like, it's probably for a reason. She was like... It's probably for the better, blah, blah, blah. But hey, I was I was stubborn. I was like, this is where I want to live. Everything gave, like, y'all, I am obsessed with this place. Like, everything about it. So, I still pushed my way through here, moved over here, whatever. Okay, cool. First things first. I'm moving in. <sighs> like, I'm not a people person. Honestly, when I live somewhere, I just like to be in my own little bubble i'm not caring to be at the community events i'm not that's not my goal you know what i'm saying i'm just here to sleep that's it you know um and so you know it's just you know a little weird energy okay so i know i look crusty but i just got out of school so basically what i'm saying when i say like weird stuff i am referring to my neighbor so i had this guy neighbor and as soon as i moved in and it could be just innocent being friendly but he was hella nosy. Like, he was just very, very nosy. I can tell when somebody is just extra nosy. So, he like, oh, that you got a monster truck. What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, if I was, like, a white neighbor come in, would you be asking what I do? Like, you think I, like, how, you're, you're really asking how can I afford this? That's basically what you're asking. You see somebody young and black and you want to be in a business uncomfortable that matter why why do you care this <laughs> like i gotta prove that's all that matters you know first thing that wrote me the wrong way when i first moved in here I, i'm forgetting everything i have bad memory when i first first moved in here over the course of me moving my first tv got broken so i had a 70 inch tv in my living room right and it broke over the course of me moving but i didn't even realize it till i already had gotten it mounted so I got my TV mounted and I had to order a new TV. So I bought a new TV, but you know, I had to get somebody to replace the TV that was already on the wall and put that one up there. So I contacted this company that was located, you know, close to where I live. And they came out in a little truck or well, they had like a van and they came out to replace it. Why literally like a minute into them pulling up? Or whatever i get a phone call and it's like hi is this is this jada um in unit blah 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 and i'm like yes this is she oh um we saw a van pull up to your place and we just wanted to let you know that um you can't hardwire any uh cameras or anything you know that per your lease agreement first of all ma'am that's not even what they're here for mind your business like that is just, it's just so invasive to me. And it's like, what if, what if, what if whoever lived here worked? That was their work, man. Or you know, like that was just, nobody's hooking up no cameras. I, that's, nobody would do that at an apartment anyways. Like these are not townhomes. These are literally apartments. I'm not stupid. So that rubbed me the wrong way because why are y'all in my business like that for real? You know, it's like back up. No privacy. I just felt like I was being watched. So, second time, <clears throat> and this is April 21st, so this is a little bit more recent. I'm at school, right? I get an email. Oh, let me tell y'all what the f 
what these people sent to me at my place of residence that I pay rent for by myself, you know, it really, really rubbed me the wrong way. I'm gonna tell y'all, I have company, I have guy friends or whatever over, over the course of me living here or whatever. And it was one little incident that occurred. It was literally one incident and it was like, it, it was like that incident and it never happened again. I don't smoke, but like my company used to smoke or whatever. So I would just be like, go out on the balcony or whatever. So I had a neighbor complain or whatever and come talk to me about it. And after that, it, sh it was shut down. Like it was shut down. I, I never allowed them to do it again. I told them straight up, don't come over here smelling like weed. Don't, can't smoke over here. None of that. Okay, cool. Whatever, resolve. So, you know, it was just little notes and stuff put on the door and stuff like that. But none of that wrote me the wrong way because at the same time, I was wrong. Listen to me when I say I very much acknowledge my wrong in this particular situation. By no means was I right. Uh, I wasn't really under, like, I didn't know under the lease that there, there was no smoking at all. Because, you know, it's common for people to even just smoke cigarettes. And... You know, most people go out on the balcony and smoke, but this is a smoke-free property entirely. You cannot go smoke in your car. You cannot smoke outside. You cannot smoke anywhere on this property. So I did not know that. I know, of course, weed is illegal, of course, but I didn't know that it was an entirely smoke-free property however it was the things that he said when he came and addressed me all the other times he was you know pretty nice but it was the things he said i have a real job um basically i'm gonna give you all a quick little summary he came to my door and he was like oh i saw someone smoking on your porch and i can smell marijuana or whatever and so i was like okay i apologize or whatever and so then he was like yeah, I just can't have that stuff. It's getting all in my clothes and my house. Pause. Y'all, this man does not live below me. He lives like, I don't know if the word is adjacent, but he lives like below me, but to the side. So my thing is if somebody's smoking on my balcony and I live on the second floor and it's, you know, going up into the air, how is it getting into your house, into your closet, into your clothes and then he says oh i already notified the courtesy officer so um uh yeah i just wanted to give you a heads up so if you already told because the officer that lived right across from us and i'm like if you already told the officer why are you telling me and the way that the apartments were made was so weird because it's like our garages were side by side but we were not neighbors so it was just weird and I always had to see him. He was always outside. Like I just know he was super duper nosy because his garage stayed up. He was always outside. Go away. Are you reading your, read your lease <laughs> for real? Email. Miss Davis, we have recently been made aware of an unauthorized occupant inhabiting your home. Please find the attached application for your occupant to fill out and return to our office within the next 72 hours. If the unauthorized occupant continues to live additional lease violations which can lead to eviction thank you for understanding your thank you for your understanding regarding this matter so this had me hot y'all this had me so hot i always tell y'all i would never live with a man again nobody again and so i was the only person that would be here frequently was my guy friend and it's crazy because he never stayed the night he has his own place so it's like who the is watching me that bad to the point where they think someone lives with me you know and that really that that set me off that's when i said i am not renewing my lease for these people like i do not want to live here so i called or whatever and they lucky they was on break and i had time to cool off because i was gonna go the hell off so i called and she was like oh the property manager's on um break or whatever we'll give we'll try to give you a call back so like two hours go past it's two o'clock i'm like is, is still not on break so i text i respond back to the email and i said hey give me a call asap please thank you literally less than 10 minutes later i got a phone call so i'm like yeah hello um she's like hello how are you doing i'm like so what constitutes as an unauthorized occupant and she was like well um anybody who stays for you know weeks or months at a time nobody has stayed over here for over four days 
So I was like, oh, okay. So I said, um, we can't have guests at, at the place that we pay rent for. And she was like, no, 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 that's not what that means. I'm like, okay, well, um, what exactly does it mean? Well, we have to, per, it's policy that we have to give out these notices when it's, um, when we're giving a, a information or somebody puts in some type of notice, which who the, f I don't know, probably one of the neighbors or some sh like, <laughs> like, I, ew. So I was like, um, well, nobody lives with me. I live alone. I have guests over from time to time. I have friends come over. I have family come over. I have a guy friend come over. That's my business. When I sign that lease, I sign a lease to pay the rent. I ain't breaking no rules. Why? You know what I'm saying? Why is y'all up all up in the business? You know? And so she was like, I understand. Yes, I understand. I just, you know, I've had to send, I guess she thought it was going to make me feel better because she was like, I had to send out multiple of these today. I don't care about that. Don't come at me like that. At least ask a question. Don't send me no notice talking about, oh, you're going to be evicted in the, if you don't send this in the next 72 hours. Don't come at me like that. At least ask. We have been notified that you have an unauthorized I can First of all, how do you even do that? How do you go to a leasing office and say, oh, this person has somebody living with them? That's the most nosy, best invasive you can do. Mind your fucking business. Like, what? That's just... Ew, I would never. I, I'm not watching nobody that hard. I'm not paying attention to nobody that hard. I don't. As long as you paying your bills, what the fuck you do. So that really rubbed me the wrong way. Like that's when I said, yeah, I'm no longer living here. I don't give hell nah. So I kind of cleared that up with her on the phone, and she was like, well, I said, so how do you prove that somebody doesn't live with me? And she was like, well, all I can do is take your word for it. Um, so yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, thanks. And so that conversation was ended. And y'all, am I wrong? Am, like, am I tripping for feeling a way about that? Like, really, really be honest with me. Because I, I feel like when I talked to my grandmother and I talked to my mom about it, it was like, yeah, that was very, very wrong of them. That was very, very wrong. So yeah, that was the second instance. That was the second instance of them being in my business. And so the third thing that happened, and this happened relatively recently, I think this happened in June, like around my birthday, because I was getting packages and I'm very, very sensitive and I can pick up on, what is it called? Microaggressions. That's what it's called. I can pick up on those very, very, very well to the point where I would just not want to interact with people. Okay, so um, I'm in a package room or whatever, and I've had several packages go missing over the course of me living here. They literally need to get together their package room. They have all these units, and then they have a big closet with everybody packages for anybody to grab and anybody to get. I hate it. At my last place, we actually had like, it was a locker system, and they would put the packages in the locker and you had to type a code to get it out of the actual individual locker here you have to type a code to get in the room but every package is in the same room it's not in an individual locker i hate it so you know around my birthday i'm ordering so many different things so like i'm i'm literally like looking for all my stuff you know it's my birthday so I'm in a package room or whatever. And then the way it's set up, like, I'm glad they finally put a ladder. I'm only 5'1". So I literally would have to, like, climb on top of, like, the shelves or, like, the counter to get to where they have our um, packages at for my building. And so they ended up putting a ladder in there or whatever. But I ain't gonna lie. I was making a little bit of noise or whatever, moving stuff around because I had so many packages that day. And so, um, yeah, but that don't mean somebody need to get in my business so I'm in there looking for my packages or whatever because like I said I was looking for a specific package and I could not find it and like I said I keep having packages go missing in there so I was like let me look around all the other you know unit numbers because maybe it's then got moved over here or it's around somebody else's you know or somebody that moved it or tried to touch it you know whatever so I'm looking 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 so I finally come out of the package room and I go to my mailbox I'm the type of person, I will leave all my mail in the mailbox unless I see it's something important. Like, I, I have so much, like, spam mail come to my mailbox. Like, I don't want that stuff, so I leave it in the mailbox, and I'll literally grab whatever has my name on it 
or like something that's important. So as I'm walking to the mailbox, I sat my packages down like by the door so I could check my mail. So one of the leasing ladies that work in the leasing office, which I never saw her before, she comes around the corner and she starts like peeking in the room. It looked like it's a utility closet. Like I don't think that door leads to nothing. Like it literally looked like it was like a utility closet. So she comes looking in there. Y'all know like when you shopping and people is, you know, the workers are watching you like you're trying to steal, which I don't have no reason to steal. I've never stole nothing. Like, <laughs> you know, like, you know how they do. So she goes peeking in the little closet or whatever and looking, acting like she looking for something. So the whole time she doing this, I'm peeping her, but I'm not paying her no mind because if you're not doing nothing wrong, you don't have no reason to feel no guilt or nothing. So I'm just like, mm, okay, she looking for something. So I'm going through my mailbox or whatever, peeking through the mail, trying to see what I'm going to take and what I'm going to leave. Because like I said, I don't take the mail. That's just something I do. So she turns around to me as I'm about to walk out or whatever. And she says, what's your name? Um, And I was like, um, Jada. And she was like, hmm. I know you from somewhere. This girl, y'all, <laughs> this was the most, like, this kind of hurt my feelings, too, because I know she was like, y'all, this lady, <laughs> she do not know me. We're not even the same age. Nowhere near the same age. She don't know me from nowhere. I've never went to school with her, nothing. So she's like, um, what's your last name? And I say, uh, my whole name, I say my whole name. She was like, have you lived at any other complexes around here? And I was like, um, no, not really. See, no, she was like, I worked at some other properties and I feel like you look so familiar. And I was like, mm, nah, not me. Um, and she was like, oh, okay. Uh, and so I asked a bunch of different people, like, it was, it wasn't necessarily what she said. It was how she said it, you know? And so I asked a couple of people and I was like, what do y'all make of this? You know, what, what do y'all make of this? So she kept going, looking in the closet or whatever, as I walked out. And so they were like, she was definitely trying to get your name. That, that was the whole purpose of that. And I was like, mm, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Cause it's like, do you think I'm in here doing something I'm not supposed to be doing? Like, I don't know. It just, and like I said, it could be completely misunderstanding and I could just be being sensitive, but I feel like it's been too many instances of that behavior and I don't like it at all. So yeah, with that being said, that kind of put the icing on the cake for me. My grandma was like, maybe you are being just a wee bit sensitive. But I was like, maybe I am. But either way, go, I'm not comfortable. I got to go. So that's kind of how I ended up where I am now. I'm about to pack this place up and shoot away because I'm over it. And it's just, mm. as much as I pay to live here, it's just I want to be comfortable in all aspects. I want to, uh, you know, just, just feel free free and i don't feel like that over here so i'm moving and like i said it kind of worked out because i started wanting to move to atlanta anyway so everything kind of fell in line and i'm super excited i'm ready for my next step one thing about it if i don't like a place or i'm kind of over it, i'm gonna leave like if it's something lacking i'm gonna go away because somewhere gonna make up for what i don't like you know <laughs> don't care so yeah, that's that. And I can go into detail about a lot of other things, but I'm going to just keep it to minimum. I'm just going to keep it real cute. But yeah, so just let me know. Ring out in the comments below. Am I tripping or do y'all kind of see what I'm saying? You know, do y'all kind of see what I'm saying? You know, so moving on. Next and final topic. Out here in my plans for after school and when I graduate and when I get my license and all of that so as y'all know like I did set up my little studio suite in my mom's house um well my parents kind of I'm not gonna say they feel away but okay so the other day I got a text message of someone screenshotting me on a dating site I don't use dating sites. I've never used a dating site. It's just not my prerogative. It's actually 
I would find that very embarrassing for me to get on a dating site. Look, I'm not knocking nobody who, who uses them. But me personally, I just feel like I don't feel the need to do that. Like, it's the day, the age that we live in now, social media is just too easy to access people. Like, I, I don't need a dating app to do that, you know? So, I got a screenshot of someone putting my face on a dating app. And while this was not the first time that this has occurred, this is the first time that somebody put my actual location. And upon like different DMs and stuff that I got from people, they, a lot of people were telling me like, oh, um, dating apps uh, tag your location. So whoever has this app or whatever, they actually are in your location. And I don't know about y'all, but that creeped me the fuck out. I was like, what? So this person is within vicinity of me and they out here doing this and it's like, what if, you know, I just think, my mind thinks of the craziest things. What if a person sees me and they recognize me from an app? It's been so many times people have texted me and they're like, oh, um, I was texting you. Why you ain't texting me back? Or, oh, I sent some money to you or stuff like that. Why you ghost me? Oh, like I get so many crazy DMs and I'm like, I've never had a conversation with you a day in my life. Like, so many people say people use my face to scam. Just crazy stuff. And it's like, there's no social, there's no security on social media to secure this doesn't happen. Like, yeah, even if I were to go get a blue check, like, and you know, because you can buy a blue check now. Like, does that stop people from copying your pictures? Instagram, um, all these different places need to set up some type of verification system where your face, like they got face ID and stuff like that. I really feel like they need to set up a verification system where you actually put your ID to the point where like when you actually post a picture, it kind of matches or there's some type of, you know, recognition system that recognizes your actual government ID with your pictures that you're posting and anything outside of that, or they have some type of database. I don't know what they can do to rectify the situation, but I know that something needs to be done because it's too many pictures getting stolen and fake pages being made. And that's extremely, extremely unsafe. Like a girl texts me and it's like, yeah, somebody took my pictures and somebody walked up to me while I was out in public. Like that literally put so much fear in my heart to the point where I don't wanna do nothing. And so I was talking to my mama about it and stuff like that. And she was like, I think you should cancel all your appointments. Because y'all had made me a little booking site. I was booked up. And that's why I haven't really been home. Because I've been going over there to do hair every night. So I was like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm kind of scared myself. And I kind of need to think of like a better way to go about things. So I was like, yeah, I'm technically still. Because <coughs> the plan was, since I live here. I could do hair over there because technically I don't live there. But that still don't make sense because I'm finna go live over there. You get what I'm saying? So it's still like I'm doing hair at home. And I would really, very much rather be in a public setting while I'm working with a client. So I kind of got to figure out that part of it because I do enjoy doing hair. I'm not going to lie. I have a couple people up. I apologize to y'all if you're watching this. But I am learning again. Everything is free. I haven't been charging nobody. So it's not like, oh, you can't call state board on me. You didn't pay nothing, you know? So I'm just learning. And it's something that I really, really want to work at. But I find it hard to transition from me being a social media influencer or public figure, which I don't view myself as that. I view myself as a regular person but i guess to other people they view it as more than that especially having conversations with people they look at me as something that i don't see myself as so whatever with that being said it's going to be hard for me to transition from that to a service provider an actual service provider you know it's going to be really really hard because you can't very really be too too private and being a service provider but being a social media figure you have to be there's a certain level of privacy that you have to maintain. So I'm trying to find that balance as far as security and safety because child, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. So that's kind of like a downer because it's like, dang, I didn't buy all that stuff for that room. I didn't did all that. But I guess I'll just keep working on my friends and my family until I get that all figured out. Hair is not a big rush for me. Again, I was trying to rush everything. I was like, by the time I'm graduated, I want to do a hair shoe. I want to do this. I want to do that. I'm giving myself to January. My graduation gift to myself is going to be my place. 
originally it was going to be my brand shoe and my brand stuff that I was going to come out with. But I'm like, girl, just wait, pace yourself. So I'm going to get myself to January. That'll give me time to really move and get settled into wherever I go and really just bask in my own energy and get back to what I was before. Get in my creative spirit, record, do this, do that. Do things that I love to do because I feel like I've been deprived of that for the past year. So <sighs> that was a mouthful. But I'm super excited for the future. I can't wait to take you guys on this journey with me. I know y'all watch these life updates and y'all be like, girl, it's a lot be going on. I know it is. But I'm very, very optimistic, like I said. And I'm just super excited. I just know that it's nothing but up from here. And it's just like, I'm ready for the next thing. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to meet new people. I'm ready to network. I'm ready to actually enjoy my life. I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to really get back to it. And it's going to make me appreciate it much more. I'm like now. I really, really appreciate it. The freedom. The ability to just get up and go. Like, I will never take that granted again in life like, i promise y'all will not i think that's all that i had to cover for you guys I, i'm probably gonna start back vlogging next week so yeah y'all get some daily vlogs or whatever weekly vlogs and i'm looking to doing a haul let me know if y'all want to see a summer haul or a fall haul i did a poll on my um instagram and everybody said they want to see a fall haul Summer is pretty much over because it is august but y'all can let me know um how y'all feel and i'll kind of make it work uh i think that's all i got to say thank you all for watching thank you all for being on this journey with me it's very very hectic but like i said things are definitely looking up and yeah i'm excited i'm excited like i wake up every day like i'm ready to move <laughs> i don't know what it is but i be ready like i'm like oh i am so ready like i want that city view i want the high rise like i'm ready like i want to experience that and i'm gonna get it period it's already mine so, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.